All right, guys and girls, the following video you're about to see is not paid promotion. We have it. Went to Amazon and purchased this machine, and we noticed the instructions suck. Also, there's no videos anywhere out there showing you how to properly use and then store this machine. So, we decided we're going to do a video. So, hope you enjoy it. Alright guys and girls, I'm going to show you how to properly use the Yesmo, Yes, however they want to say man, they, they rebrand these things so many times, it's crazy. So this one is called the Yesmo Airless Paint Sprayer. Now these procedures will also work with the Wagner uh, Airless Paint Sprayer. Now it is very, very crucial, important that you follow these instructions because if you look at the reviews on this, a lot of the negatives is that um, after one time use and stop working. These are people who do not read the directions. Well, the instructions are kind of messed up, but do not follow them and they mess up the machine after one use. All right, so we got the machine. I'm on, we're on a uh, roof right here and I'm on like a little pitch. So what I did was I put a little uh, nail right here, one of them angle, one of them horseshoe nails like right there just to keep the unit in place. Now when the unit is running, it doesn't vibrate that much, so I'm not worried about it vibrating and going off the roof. Now, first thing you want to do is, now I shouldn't have to tell you this, you should already had this done. Put your hose on, connect your hose right here. Make sure the fittings is tight. It's gonna come with two wrenches to tighten it up right there. And on the gun. Now, you may need the wand or may not. I like using the wand, so I got this wand in place. Now, when you put this wand on, you want to make sure there's a plastic gasket in there, a white gasket. Do not throw that away. That is a seal, the paint from coming out. So make sure that stays in there and tighten this up. Do not put the tip on yet because now we're going to go into um, priming the system and priming the uh, airline. All right, we got our get gallon of paint. Now, if you notice, again, I'm on an incline here, so uh, on a slope, so the paint is leaning down. So I open this up, it's a good chance it's going to spill out. So what I'll do is give me a one by six or something, any kind of piece of wood, just to set it right there, set it at an angle, set it right on the tip like that, so that evens it out. And you're also going to need you some kind of pan to um, help. This is going to help you uh, prime the system out, so a lot of the waste is going to go into here. Now. Also, this is very important because there is a filter inside the gun head and there's a screen on the pickup tube. You want to make sure you do not put any kind of dirt or debris in there or it will clog your system up, clog your gun up and mess it up. So what I'd like to do is get one of these, um, or is this is better, when you go buy your paint, have them mix it for you. And they'll, they'll free of charge. You bought it. They better do it free of charge. But uh, this one, we we ordered it. It came delivered. So now we're going to have to mix it. We got this little mixer right here. And hook it onto the end of a gun. Pull this gun and, and be able to, to mix that up. So let's get this top popped off. And I'm going to start mixing, mixing it. And then we're going to continue on. All right, as you can see, I opened mine up and you can tell this thing must have been sitting for a while. <laughs> so what I got to do here now is um, take it and... You see it's starting to mix up. Now I'm going to mix this for a good five, ten minutes because it definitely feels like, looks like it's been sitting a while. So we're going to mix this up and then we're going to move on. All right, we all mixed up here. Get this. I don't want to waste no paint. I need every bit. This stuff is expensive. Okay, put it in our pan. Now we're ready to prime. Now on the side of your machine, you're gonna have a lever. As you can see that lever right there. Make sure that lever is facing downward. That's to prime it. Now, if I was spraying, ready to paint, I would flip it up like that. But keep it down in that position. Next thing you're going to do is take your pickup tube. And you want to slowly... Bring that, put that in there. 
push it down till it stops. Okay. The next thing you want to do is have your the, uh, return tube over here. Now I just had some cleaner in here and some fluid just came out. You want to make sure all of that is out of there. So now you want to hold this right here and what we're going to do is cut on, turn on the machine and now, okay, before I, before I do that, you're going to turn on the machine and it's going to suck the paint into the machine and then it's going to return out of the hole. Now there is a seal in here. You want to make sure you do not burn out this seal. So don't just cut the machine on and just sit there and wait. Uh, cycle it on and off a few times so you don't want you want it, you don't want it to run dry uh, run dry at least as possible all right so in the back of the machine there's an on off button I can't show it to you now but you know where it's at um, so I'm gonna make sure I hold this over here now watch carefully because what you're gonna see is the paint start coming in through this tube and at the same time I have my drain over my return over here I don't know if you ever catch that, but uh, it, it's starting to come through. Now it should start coming out of here soon. Okay. Now your unit is primed. Now what you want to do now is you can leave it right here. It came out of the return house. Yep, it came. Oh. Come in here. You, oh, you didn't get to see it? Your hands. Oh, okay, yeah. hold on. Let me, let me cut it on a little bit. Once you get that, you are good to go. Now I got a little tie strap here. Um, dang it, I should. I meant to take that off. Because then you want to put it back into the paint like this. And put a tie strap on it or something to keep it from flying out. Matter of fact, let's go do that right now. All right, we got a little tie strap here. We'll do just put it over here. And tie it up. Now we are ready to spray. The next thing you want to do is grab your wand or your spray gun. You're going to put this to over the um the uh however you want to call this pan just junk pan <laughs> now the next thing you want to do is now you're going to purge the airline now what you're going to do without the tip do not have the tip on or you mess this thing up switch your machine over to spray on your handle hold your handle in like you're spraying it like you're spraying um, also before we begin I want you to get a close up of this little lever right here this little knob as long as that knob is facing anywhere towards the front of the gun, you'll be able to spray. To lock this trigger from uh, accidentally going off, flip it to the back. Once you flip it to the back, I cannot push my handle no more. But we don't need that right now. Flip it to the front, and we're going to be able to spray. So now keep your hand on the sprayer. You're going to cut the machine on, and it's autumn. now it's going to pump the paint through the airline, clearing out all the air and all, and coming out of here. Now, the reason why you don't put the tip on, because if you have the tip on, it's going to take a whole lot longer to get that thing through there. So, i got to squeeze in, and you're going to wait till it comes out of here. Let's cut this on. See, that was, that right there, that's just a uh, cleaning solution and water from last time, so it's not paint yet. Now we got paint coming out. Your machine is done. The next thing we're gonna do is let's go get our tip. Let's get this out of the way so we don't spill this or nothing. Let's get let's put it right there for now. Let's go get our tip and put our tip on. Oh, your, your tip is gonna come with three pieces. Now this little piece right here, the nozzle, that's gonna be already in the tip. But I'm, I took it out just to show you. Now you're gonna need a one and one sixteenth wrench and this little wrench right here, the 19 on one side and 22 on the other, that's going to come with your machine. Now what you want to do is, the, per the end right here, end of this needle, there's a little tip right there. You want to take that 
and put that on right there just like that holding it in place now it's not it'll come off if you hold it down so just keep it keep it in place like that now on you're gonna put this inside here if you notice on this nozzle there's a little cutout if I turn it it's open so it's a cutout right there you want to make sure that cutout is lined up just like that when you go in go in there so we're gonna we're gonna put that in there. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. It's gonna hold. Take the t your tip right here. Put it in there. You now you know it's lined up. Now the position that it's in right now, this thing will not spray. In order to spray, whoops. Let me let me get that back in there then. Guess I didn't have it in there all the way. Uh let's see here. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. So it's in there. Facing this way, the gun will not spray. So you may gotta make sure you're facing it this way in order for it to spray. Now we got that tip in there, leave that in there. Get your gun. Screw that piece on. Now this is don't have to be super tight, but I do have to be tight enough to make sure that it's not going to leak. So on one end, you got your 22. On the other end, one and one sixteenth. Again, guys, this is don't go super tight on this, you'll mess that seal up. Now that you got it, now your machine, your machine will, when it builds up pressure in the hose, it will shut off. If that machine keeps going, check the leak, checks for leaks, that means it's not building up pressure. So now when I cut this machine on, it'll probably come on for a good few seconds and then it's going to stop. Let me show you, go out here. Cut the machine on. My gun was out. <laughs> now it's look. I had my trigger pushed in a little bit, so that was my fault. All right. Now, once you are you are actually ready to paint, um, be careful because you want to. You do not want this thing to go down to empty, or then you're gonna have to prime it. <laughs> prime everything again so what you want to do is keep an eye on that and pour some more painting as you need it now when you paint um let me uh try to use a scrap piece right here or something right here use this right here just to show you what it does perfect paint this thing is great and as you notice the, the uh, machine cuts off by itself and you're ready to go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, paint what I have to paint, and when we come back, uh, very important, I'm gonna show you how to clean your machine. All right, guys and girls, I'm done painting. This thing was quick, man. I'm being this quick. Um, but I did run into a problem, and I'm glad I ran into the problem because I wanna show you what to do. Sometimes it's inevitable the gun that the tip will get clogged up. Might something, you'll notice the paint coming out kind of splattery and all that. Don't freak out. What you want to do is you want to, you got the tip right here, and right now I can paint. If I had a problem, you take this tip, you take this uh, lever, turn it this way. Now it's facing you, 
And what you're going to do is hit the gun one or two times because what it's going to do is open up the tip down and any kind of debris in there, it will push it out. <laughs> See how it came in one big blob? That means it pushed everything out. Then you turn it back and <laughs> you are good to go. Now we are done painting. We're going to release the pressure out of this right now. So what you want to do is make sure your paint is over like this. Put your machine back down. Let's check this off. Put your machine down into the prime position. And you notice this. I don't know if you saw it, but you saw paint shoot out of there. And right now, I got no pressure in the gun. That is good. Make sure that's shut off. And now the cleaning process. Now the cleaning process on this is very very important and it also depends on what kind of paint you're using if you're using a water-based kind of paint paint cleanup is going to be easy majority of painters like using the water base because that's all we have to do now is use warm water or a garden hose and it cleans it up now oil based paint is becomes a problem you cannot use water if you try to clean oil based paint with water this thing will gel up and turn into a gel and it will destroy your gun and I believe that's what a lot of people are doing who are reviewing these machines and giving it uh, a negative because at first they say it did good and then all of a sudden they went to use it the next time and it didn't work that's because it's all clogged up and gummed up and it's almost impossible at the point to get that out so I'm using a water-based paint so what you're gonna do now is first it's on primer Let's get this out of here like this. And what you want to do is take your rag or something, you know, and just uh, wipe all, wipe all this off down into the paint. Close the paint can up. So let's get this wiped off. And what you're going to do also now is get you a bucket of water. Um, it's good to have uh, like two buckets, like a pail, and also a nice bucket of clean water so what you want to do is going to take your return off the pickup tube is going to set into the clean water and this is going to spray into the uh, discharge bucket though, where the junk is and you're going to just keep running the machine while it's on prime until clear water comes out of this hose um, if again if you're now if you're using oil-based paint you're going to stick this into a paint thinner or mineral, uh, mineral spirits. Uh, try to use mineral spirits because mineral spirits doesn't have an odor to it or have very low odor. And if you're inside, man, paint thinner can stink. I mean, that stuff suck. So whatever you use, if you're oil-based, you want to stick it in paint thinner or mineral spirits. I'm, going, I'm using um, water-based, so I'm going to stick this into water. So let's get that done. All right, this is one, this is the most important part of using this machine. Cleaning it and preparing it for future use. Because if you skip this step, this machine is no good to you no more. And a good, um, a little, little uh, clue of how, uh, how you could tell them, tell them the truth. A lot of the reviews is, it's, it was good the first time and then I let it set and by the time I returned it, I was past the window. That's because they didn't clean it properly, they put it in storage, and when they went to use it a few months later, it was no good. That's why they was past the next day, okay? So, first thing you want to do, here's your pickup tool. And I want you to look inside here, and there's, there's a screen, and you see those little circles right there? Mm -hmm. That is a clip. So what you're going to do is take that out. So you're going to take one end. Pick it up and let it fling out like that. <laughs> fling out like that. Got your bucket of water right here. Get a rag in there. Wipe that off. Now, if, again, I keep, I keep, I keep having to say this. If you are using oil-based paint, you want to have you a, a pan. You don't have to be, of course, not this big full with uh, paint thinner or mineral spirits. But you want to have something just like this so you can go ahead and clean your parts off. Nice and clean. I'm going to set that to the side. 
next thing is here is a screen, a loaf. The screen, I just want to clean this up a little bit like this, and you can see it better. So what I like to do is get me a little screwdriver or something, and try to grab one of the edges, pop that out, then let's clean this up, and we're going to put this to the side. All right, got that nice and clean. Now, um, honestly, I advise if you don't mind spending the money, use mineral spirits either way because it's going to really, really clean this up. Like, you can see this right here. The paint's drying up right there. Mineral spirits will clean that up like crazy. I mean, even though this, is, this ain't going to be into nothing, it's definitely better to use it. it like makes it look nice and nice and new it's already started on the holes you know you don't have to do this I just like to keep it clean as much as possible so I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna give it a water and put some fresh water in here all right now we're ready to clean out the machine so we got a nice fresh water here got our suction tube in there we have our machine facing down, that's for priming it. And then we got our return holes going into another barrel. So once I cut it on, this is gonna start sucking up clean water throughout the machine. And we're gonna keep going until it comes clear water out of here. So let's get our machine over here. Out of there, so we're gonna keep on going, but it looks like it's pretty clear, even if you overdo it. That's good. You see a little more water coming, All right, we're gonna go let it go for a few more minutes. Okay, we're gonna stop it right there just in case it's pulling it from the holes. Now we're gonna clear out the holes. Now before we do that, what we're gonna do is remove the tip. That, guys, that is so important. So let's get this tip off of there. Okay, now we're gonna do the holes. Again, um, I'm using a uh, garden hose, cold water. Cold water is good, definitely not for oil base. But better than this will be warm water. If you want to go into the house and put some warm water in the bucket, whatever, warm water will clean it up a little bit faster. But as for, uh, I would recommend you guys and girls that you go ahead and use mineral spirits because mineral spirit, spirits or paint thinner if you're outside, you're going to be able to clear this out a lot faster, man. It's going to clear out a lot faster. Water does good, but that thing, that is the best. So what we're going to do, we got it. We're going to put it on spray. Make sure our tube is in the water. Pull the trigger, hold the trigger down and cut the machine on and you're going to continue on until it comes out clear water. You guys, what I'm, I'm going to show you a little example of what I mean. Now, you see this, uh, this is paint right here. Now, what I'm going to do is start the machine up again and I'm going to put the stream onto this. And you're going to see just how long it takes to actually break that paint up. And warm water will be faster and mineral water will be uh, about three times faster. So, let's get you a little example right here. Quick! 
squeeze it, it just takes a while. Clear. We're going to let it stand for about two more minutes and then we'll move on. Great. Nice and clean. All right. The next thing we're going to do, guys, is we got our nozzle right here. So we're going to pop that out, put that in the water, get us a rag, clean that up nice and good. Got a little nozzle inside there Just pop that out all right let's clean all this up and we got one more important thing to do all right we got our three pieces cleaned up but this part right here is important this is your nozzle right here there is a hole right there where paint goes through and then on the other side it's a, a smaller the nozzle itself and this one you want to make sure there is no paint in there so what you want to do at this point you clean up as much as you can take you some compressed air it don't have to be a lot put it onto the inlet side just hit a little hit it you can see the paint come out of there even though I had this soaking that's why you want to use mineral spirits because mineral spirits will clean that up a whole lot better than just that and then it's good because sure if you don't that paint will dry up inside of there and when you go to paint it will be clogged up so now that we got that together this is all cleaned up let's reinstall it put that onto there let's face that up and down like that then you're gonna put that into there just like that and just just keep it in there take your pen Put it in there and it is in. Good. And that's to the side. All right, let's go back over to the machine. All right, now, guys, the only, the, this next part right here is only if you're going to let your machine set more than 16 hours. Are you about to put it away because you're going to need it for a while? This is a must. The pump right here, you have to make sure because you just cleaned this out with water or mineral spirits. And if that pump sits there on a shelf or outside for so long, it can rust. So you want to make sure you put some oil in it. Then your machine is going to come with some oil. You're going to get some more. I forgot what the name they call this, but get some. Look it up in your manual for the name and get some more. First thing you want to do is disconnect your hose. Take your hose off. Uh, let me get this hose out of the way, wrap it up, put it to the side because the hose is finished. Alright, what you want to do is turn your machine upside down and you're going to remove the suction hose out of it. Now, what, how you do that is there is a clip right here. You want to squeeze this clip in, take it out, and twist the hose back and forth while pulling it out. Now, let's uh, let's go. Let's put this down to the side. You can look in there, and you can actually see paint still in there. So this is a good chance to um, get that cleaned out. That's why it's good. It's a good idea to use uh, mineral uh, spirits. But I'm gonna go. In, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in and get me some uh, mineral spirits and a rag, and I'm gonna clean that out of there. All right. You see, we got that nice and clean. And mineral mineral spirits. This thing took like seconds to clean out. You know what, let's get our hose off also. And to take this hose out of here, you pull on it, it's not gonna come out. What you gotta do is, this little blue ring right there, push that blue ring down, and then you'll be able to take your hose right out of there. 
And if you want, you can clean that up as well. Okay, put that to the side. Turn your pump over. Get you a cup. You want to put that oil in, oil in it. More than likely, it won't take all of it. Who knows? What you want to do, you're going to plug your pump up, put it on primer, stick this into it, like this, and what you're going to cut your machine on. And this, a little might come out of here, but what you're waiting for is to come out and then you know that pump is actually primed or coming out of the return. So let's get this, let's get this plugged up. You know they could have they could have did you know you know what I'm gonna do? Let me uh cut this so I don't have to pick it up so much. Alright I got it so what I'm gonna do is hold it up like this we're going first we're gonna prime it out of here. both good good all right so it came out of both ways good I didn't I thought it was gonna come out just one but that is good so that's good everything is done now we can though even though you had a little oil coming out of there that's that's all right as long as oils inside where the pump is and if you want you can take um some little caps a little something and put over there to uh stop it but it's good clean it up and there you go guys I know I know this is a little time consuming this part right here and I know a lot of guys and girls don't want to do this and a lot of you don't do it <laughs> but don't give a product a bad review if you don't take the steps to take care of the machine all right guys because once you've also when you're finished painting you want to replace the filter that's inside here either you want to replace it or you want to clean it definitely do one or the other now to get to that filter you got your gun disconnected from the hose now you want to take off this guard right here now what you want to do is you're gonna pull this guard up and out so you're gonna pull it up because it's gonna unhook from here and then pop it out just like that all right now this is supposed to be hand tight but a lot of times they're not so you just take me a whoops Take me a regular pair of pliers and it's not tight at all just loosen it up and get to a point where you can loosen it up by hand take it out a lot of water in there and your filter is right there pull your filter out look at that see this is why they say clean it or replace it because this will clog that gun right back up so take that out Take that out. Take the new one. Stick it in. Then screw it back into there. Take your pliers. Tighten it up. Take your guard. Now, if you notice how your guard is all the way down, the, op the opening is down here. So, you, what you want to do is pick it up, push it in there, snap it into place. Done. It's all ready. I forgot one more thing. Let's put our screen back in here. Just pop that in. There's, there's some lips inside there. Just make sure it goes under the lips. There's four of them, four tabs. Make sure it goes under the tab. Take your spring, start off on one end, just work your way around, and get it in just like that. And then put you want put this one back on the bottom machine. And if also if you want, you can put your you can put this whole hose assembly back on the machine. Paying extra close extra attention. Of these seals right here so make sure they're still in good condition and they are so we're gonna put this all back into the machine and then store it for the next project
Take care.